We may not have gotten Federer, Nadal yesterday, but today we get two fresh and intriguing matchups in the singles finals. Roger Federer, photo by Chrysleen Kayo, copyright its fourth vision, use your arrow, keys to browse just two weeks removed from winning his historic 100th career title, Roger Federer goes for number 101 on Sunday, as well as his record-breaking sixth title in Indian Wells. Dominic Team stands in his way, and is vying for the biggest title of his career. On the women's side, Angelique Kerber has three majors to her name, but is yet to win a premier mandatory event such as this. Her opponent is one of the biggest surprise finalists in recent memory, an 18-year-old wildcard who started the year ranked 178th in the world. Angelique Kerber, 8 vs. Bianca Andreescu, WC, embed from Getty Images in just her 8th career WTA level event, Andreescu has reached a premier mandatory final. It's an astonishing run from a player with so little experience playing against the game's elite. The first few months of 2019 have changed her life. She started the year having to qualify just to get into the Auckland main draw, yet reached the final of that event. After also qualifying for the Australian Open, she won a challenger title in Newport Beach, and reached the semis in Acapulco. Now she's won six matches in Indian Wells, including three straight wins over top 20 opposition. Her run here is reminiscent of Naomi Osaka's from a year ago. Osaka came into the 2018 Indian Wells event ranked 44th in the world and having never won a WTA title. A year later, she's the world number one and has triumphed at the last two majors. Is Bianca ready to win an event of this magnitude? It'll be tough in her first ever meeting against a player of Kerber's magnitude. Kerber is an incredible fighter. She redirects her shots. Like, she can hit any shot at any time in any specific place whenever she wants. She has a pretty decent serve. She's a good mover, great fighter. The Canadian told reporters on Friday. Andreescu is coming off a physically and emotionally draining semi-final against Elena Svitolina, where Bianca fought off the onset of cramps at multiple times during the third set. She let out a lot of emotions after that dramatic win, and coming back less than 48 hours later for the biggest match of her career is a big ask. Kerber should be the fresher of the two, as her semi-final with Belinda Bensick was about half a's long. Angelique will take over the number two ranking with a win today, which seems like the most probable outcome. As great as Andrea Scoo's shot making has been, Kerber will defuse a lot of that and experience should be a key factor for the 31-year-old German. I think it will be a good match on the high level, and I know I have to also play my best tennis, especially in the important moments. Kerber Quick Facts Andreescu is the youngest Indian Wells finalist since Kim Kledgesters back in 2001. Kerber will rise to world number two as she wins the title. Andreescu, who ended 2018 at 178, will rise to a best of 33rd. Andreescu will earn a minimum of $686,000 for reaching the final. Entering the tournament, her career prize money stood at $350,909. Kerber is the first left-handed woman to contest a final in Indian Wells since Monica Seles back in 1992. Andreescu is only the fifth unseeded player to reach the final in the history of the tournament. Kerber hasn't lost to a player ranked outside the top 50 since Alison Riske at the 2018 Mallorca Open. Use your arrow, keys to browse the Austrian is set to re-enter the world's top five following his run in Indian Wells. Dominic Team, photo by Chrysleen Kayo, copyright its fourth vision, for a player that has enjoyed the vast majority of the success in his career on the clay, Dominic Team is determined to prove that he is a contender on any surface. The 25-year-old Austrian has been able to highlight his case at this week's BNP Paribas Open in Indian Wells. After a turbulent start to the year due to illness, Thiem has battled to his third Masters 1000 final and the first on a hard court. On Saturday he edged his way past Milos Ronic in three sets, hitting a series of breathtaking backhand winners and winning 82% of his first service points. I played really well the whole match, basically. I didn't make a lot of unforced errors. 
I always made him, Ronick, play at least in my service games. And I had a very good first serve percentage. That was great. Theme told reporters afterwards. In general, it was a very good match because the only breakpoint I had to save was in the last game, and that was what I wanted to do, to play my service games well and not let him too many chances. He added. Sunday's final will be Theme's 19th on the ATP Tour, but only his fourth on a hard court. His greatest achievements to date have occurred on the clay. Finishing runner-up to Rafael Nadal at the French Open last year and winning 8 out of his 11 titles on the surface. Theme is also one of only three players to score a trio of wins over Nadal on the clay. Alongside Novak Djokovic and Gaston Gaudio. One thing that would never change is that clay is my home, stated Theme. It's my favorite surface. I grew up on it. I just feel great whenever I come back at it, but that doesn't mean that I'm not a good all-rounder, or not a good player on different surfaces. He added, whilst there is praise for the Austrian and his performances on the dirt, sometimes he can be underestimated on other surfaces. Even though he is a current U.S. Open quarter-finalist, former Mexican Open champion and has previously triumphed on the grass at the 2016 Stuttgart Open. Out to prove that he is a true all-rounder, Thiem accepts the idea that the courts in Indian Wells reminds him of playing on the clay. This year is his sixth appearance in the main draw of the tournament. This surface and also the one in New York US Open, for example, it suits me pretty well, because it's bouncy, especially during the day. It's not too fast, so it's a little bit more similar than a clay court. He explained. The biggest adjustment is the moving, that I cannot slide around. Standing in the way of theme and his Maiden Masters 1000 title is the formidable Roger Federer, who is a five-time Indian Wells champion. Federer is the second player in the history of men's tennis to win 100 titles after Jimmy Connors. He progressed to the final after rival Nadal withdrew from their clash due to a knee injury. It's always something special to play him and also something special to compete in a Masters 1000 final. Theme said of his upcoming clash. I know it's going to be very tough, but same time, I will give everything to hopefully win my first title. Their head-to-head -head is currently tied at 2-2. Theme has lost their two previous encounters on hard courts. However, he has got the better of the Swiss world number 4 on clay and grass. Should Theme prevail in the final, it would underscore his ability to be a well-round player. A prospect he is relishing. It's not my call to be known as a multi-surface player, but it's nice for me and also for my confidence to have really good results also on the other surfaces. He concluded, the men's final will take place not before 15.30 local time on Sunday. Dominic Team Edge Neil is Ronick 7-6, 7-3, 6-7, 3-7, 6-4 after 2 hours and 31 minutes in the semi-final of the BNP Paribas Open in Indian Wells to set up a final against Roger Federer, who advanced without playing after Rafael Nadal's withdrawal due to a right knee injury. Theme dropped just 24 points in his service games and saved the only break point in the fifth game of the third set. He hit 25 winners to just 9 unforced errors. Ronick produced 58 winners to 35 unforced errors. The first set went on serve with no break points and came down to the tie break. He got too many breaks and raced out to a 5-1 lead with a backhand winner down the line. He sealed the tie break 7-3 with a service winner. Team fired 10 winners and won 93% of his first serve points in the opening set. Theme earned the first breakpoint of the match with a return winner in the fourth game of the second set at 2-1-3-0-4-0 but Ronick saved it with an ace before holding his service game to draw level to 2-2. Two to two. Theme rallied from 15-30 to 30 down to hold his serve at deuce in a hard-fought ninth game for 5-4. After three easy holds of serve the second set was also decided by a tie break. Both players went on to serve until the eighth point when Ronick got the crucial 5-3 edge. 
the Canadian player won the next two points to seal the second set 7-3 with a service winner. The third set went on serve in the first four games before Thiem finally got the first break of the match at Deuce to take a 3-2 lead. The Austrian player consolidated the break by holding his serve at 15 for 4-2. Team won 77% of his service points and saved the only break point he faced when he served for the match at 5-4 in the decisive set. Team served out on his second match point with a backhand volley winner into the open court in the 10th game after 2 hours and 31 minutes. He was pushing me back. He was aggressive from the first ball. There were not many times that I got to be on the offensive on the return games. When I did, I was not efficient about taking advantage of it. It's always something something special to play against Roger and to compete in Masters 1000. It's only my third one. I have pretty bad stats in the finals, so it's going to be very tough, but at the same time I will give everything to hopefully win my first title, said Theme. Theme clinched the first win in his third head-to-head -head match against Ronick, who had beaten his Austrian rival twice in Cincinnati and in the NITO ATP Finals in London in 2016. Theme has recently brought former world number 9 player and two-time Olympic champion Nicolas Massou into his team. Theme and Massou met for the first time during the Davis Cup match between Austria and Chile. Masu has started working with Thiem in Indian Wells. The Austrian player has reached a final at Masters 1000 level for the third consecutive year and his first title match on hard court. In his previous two Masters 1000 finals he finished runner-up in Madrid on clay in 2017 and 2018. He will be bidding to win his first title at Indian Wells against five-time Indian Wells champion Roger Federer. Federer and Thiem are tied 2-2 in their four head-to-head -head matches. Federer won his two hard court matches in Brisbane 2016 and at the ATP Finals in London in 2018, while Thiem beat the Swiss player on clay in Roman grass in Stuttgart in 2016. Rafael Nadal has withdrawn from his BNP Paribas Open semi-final with Roger Federer due to a knee injury. Rafael Nadal, at Ben Perry Boss Open, Twitter, Rafael Nadal has withdrawn from his Indian Wells semi-final with Roger Federer after suffering a right knee injury. The Spaniard injured his during his 7-6-2-7-6-2 win over Karen Kachanov in the quarterfinals. As a result he has also withdrawn from next week's Miami Open. It was reported that Nadal had a 15-minute practice before a 10-minute conversation with his team where they made the decision to withdraw from the semi-final. After the announcement Nadal emphasized his disappointment at the withdrawal, I wanted to try my best to be competitive, but during the warm-up I felt my knee was not good enough for the level 1 need to play. Nadal explained. It's tough for me to accept all these things that I'm going through in my career. Sometimes I feel sad because I'm in a disadvantage to all my opponents, I need to be positive and grateful for all the things tennis has given to me. I feel fortunate for all the things I've done in my life and the world of tennis. Even if today is a sad moment for me, I am grateful for what tennis has given me. Come back stronger, at Rafanadal. Heart. Next for the Spaniard will be Monte Carlo in mid-April after also announcing his withdrawal from next week's Miami Open. The plan for the clay season is Monte Carlo, Barcelona, Madrid, Roma and Roland Garros. That has been my calendar throughout my career and I hope to be able to complete it one more time. As for Roger Federer, he will now play either Dominic Thiem or Milos Ronic in tomorrow's final as he looks to win his sixth title in California.